What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to be looking at the Flint wallet, every feature and function that's offering, how to download, install and use. So first thing we see on their website, it's your friendly to go wallet for DeFi and NFTs. And at the moment, it's only supported on Chrome and Brave browser. So then we scroll down, as you can see, you can send and receive crypto for multiple networks. And looks like according to the picture, they support Cardano, Melcometa, Solana and Algorand. And then if we scroll down here, interact with dApps, NFT supports, and here are the features. You can send and receive DAP connector, Melcometa support, hardware wallet, multi-language, NFT support, multi-platform and multi-chain. So if we scroll back up, also you can see right here, user guides, support and about. If we press on user guides, this is basically how to install, create new wallet, restore, receive transactions, send transactions and delegating stake. I'm going to basically show you all user guides in this one video. So first we need to download Flint, we press on download Flint. It's going to take us here, then we need to add to Brave because I'm going to be doing this on Brave. But if you're using Chrome, it's going to be exactly the same process. OK, once it's added, we can just close it here and then press on this little puzzle and then pin your Flint wallet. And then we'll press on a Flint wallet. New page is going to appear and it says let's begin. You can scroll through this, see what Flint is offering and then let's begin. Choose language. At the time, the only offering two languages looks like English and Japanese. Put a check mark next to I've read and accept terms and conditions and then press on continue. And then you can help them to improve or no thank you. At this time, I'm just going to press no thank you and then choose a network. So if you're a developer, most likely you're going to choose a test net. But since we're just regular users, we're going to choose mainnet. And then here's a few options. We can connect our hardware wallet, such as Ledger or Trezor. Then we can create new wallet or restore from secret recovery phrase. For this video tutorial, I'm just going to create new wallet. And this is going to be our recovery phrase, 15 phrase. With naming, you get 24. So this one is slightly smaller. We just need to copy or save it somewhere. And I'm not going to blur this phrase because after this video, I'm going to delete this wallet. I'm not actually going to use it. And then I saved it. Now we have to confirm. And now we have to come up with a password. And then press on create my wallet. And also right here, you can set up passcode. And this passcode can be used to unlock Flint. For this video tutorial, I'm just going to skip and you can join their social media such as Discord and Twitter and then press on finish and that's it, we are done. So now if we press on Flint, this window is gonna open up and by default, you're gonna see total holdings, day, week, month, year and all. Then you can send and receive. So if, for example, if you press on send, that's where you're gonna choose what you're gonna be sending, then receiver address and then the amount the network fee is going to appear over here. Then you'll have to press on send to send Cardano to somebody. And then if you would like to receive, you press on receive. This is the address that you're going to have to share with whoever is going to be sending you Cardano or any kind of assets. And at the same time, this is how you can view your Cardano wallet and you can just press on copy address here and then paste it wherever you like. Also, you can view on ADA pools, if you press on that, the new window is going to appear. And this is basically you're going to be Cardano address in ADA pool. And then we can go back here. Then the next tab, delegation. So if we press on delegate, it says right here, you have not delegated your ADA yet because I don't have any ADA, but that's where you would go to delegate. And this is, would be your historical reward. And then on the bottom, you can see that wallet is already selected. That's where we're in right now. And then if you press on this like a little picture logo, this is our going to be NFTs. So that's where all your NFTs is going to be stored at the time of this recording. I have no NFTs in my wallet. And then like a little clock, this is your going to be transaction history stored. So every transaction that's going to be done with this wallet. It's going to be stored here and you can always go back and view your transaction and then you can also export and then settings tab settings tab. You can see blockchain explore and then server and then we can set collateral here. You have to set collateral to interact with a smart contract. So for example, if you're going to make any kind of purchase on a DAP or decentralized exchange, 
and then you decide to cancel that purchase or that transaction, you have to have collateral in place to interact with a smart contract. And if we scroll down here, you can see you'll have to send five ADA to yourself to be able to set as collateral, but I don't have any Cardano in this wallet, so I'm not gonna be able to set collateral. Then if we go back, connected apps, basically, this is gonna show you every single app that your Flint wallet is connected to. At this time, I don't have any. And for example, if you're gonna connect, let's go for example, Sunday Swap or Mint Swap. And then enter app. And then right here, we're gonna press on connect wallet and then we're gonna choose Flint. This window is gonna appear. We're gonna press on continue. Now, our Flint is connected to Mint Swap. And if we go back here, settings connected apps you can see that we are connected to minswap with our wallet it's always a good practice once you're done with using some kind of exchange or any kind of app or dap to disconnect your wallet from it so you can press on this little garbage can and it's going to disconnect then wallet name you can change your wallet here you can manage your passcode password resync your wallet and then remove wallet display language get help about flint legal information and then analytics and then in the top right corner there's multiple wallets and right here you can add an account or you can add a wallet if you will add an account you'll have to use restore or recovery phrase or if you add a wallet it's just going to create another wallet and same thing we'll have to choose either mainnet or testnet and this is pretty much it. This was the entire walkthrough of Flint Wallet. And if we go back to Flint website, we go to Flint, we scroll all the way down. If we look at their roadmap, as you can see, at this time, it only supports Cardano and Milka Meta wrap and unwrap support. And as you can see, they'll be also supporting EVM, Milka Meta, and then limited beta mainnet and they stated secret chain. They're not actually announcing what kind of chain is gonna be supported. This is just gonna be a secret for us. We're just gonna to have to wait and see if it's gonna be Solana or any other EVM compatible chains. And this is pretty much it. This was Cardano Flint Wallet Beginner's Guide. And if this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.